Welcome back. After the last exercise, we have used digital video, so we will try to explore another kind of video. That's the live video from your webcam for image processing. So in this exercise, I will use, for example, instead of a two-dimensional display with a rectangle, I make use of a cube. You can have a look of their first appearance. So this is a very big cube. With the cube, you can control the size by putting a number at the second inlet. And in order to make full use of the display as a cube, I'll introduce back the rotate command we have learned previously. For each of the other inlet, we can put in a number for the X rotation and then the Y and Z. Then we can have a look if we put in the default size and we rotate it along different axes. And we can reset it back to the original position. So the next step is we'll try to introduce the use of the webcam as a way to generate an image. So the step suggests similar to what we have done in the last two exercises. First of all, we must have a texture. We would like to map on top of our cube. You can see from the example that we can have something between the texture and the graphical object you would like to use. For example, in this case, rotate. Or we can also add and translate for other purpose. So the next one we're going to use is again come from the Pix family. So in the last two exercise, we have used the Pix image for still photos. And we have used the Pix frame for digital video. For live video, we are using the Pix video. Once you type in the Pix video, you can have a look of your console window. It will indicate some sort of message which claim that one of your attached webcam has been attached to your pure data. And if you if your computer is equipped with the webcam, you can have a look of the indicator, usually there will be an LED indicator which will turn on after you put in the PIX video command. So after you have performed all those steps, you can have a look of what we are doing right now. So this is my image, which go through the webcam command through the PIX video and then afterward it will convert into a piece of texture and wrap around this particular cube over here. And actually you can change the rotate parameter to have a look. Those are the way you can manipulate the operation of this particular video, which is mapped on top of this piece of cube. 
And with the clip, you can also try to change the size. I'm pressing the shift key and doing the mouse drag on this particular number box. And once the size increased to a certain number, you can see that it seems that you go in inside this particular cube and the image you can have a look is a kind of those sites you are looking into looking from the inside of this particular cube towards the outer area This is one of the most interesting effects you can have a look or you can try it by yourself by putting in different three-dimensional objects like the cube or sphere or other stuff like the donut shape model and then you can change the size, the rotation such that you can look from either outside or inside that particular three-dimensional objects and if you would like to have a look of the parameter of the PIX video, you can have some information about the, the use. Usually, if your computer has more than one webcam or recording device, you can select uh, that which particular device you would like to capture the video and pass it through the PIX video command. And actually, you can have multiple of them and then use more than one webcam to to capture the image and then display within pure data. But you also need to pay attention to the performance. If you have more than one recording device open at the same time, they may have some sort of performance issues. So this is the basic command we would like to make use of in order to capture the live video from the webcam or other recording device. So in later chapters, we're going to make use of the PIX video as a way to perform live motion or color tracking from the actual environment.